Good morning everybody and welcome back to Thailand. We've come to this beautiful little island over here and we're actually here to do some conservation through like marine life. We've got the scuba gear ready and we're going to go down and we'll tell you about what we're doing soon. Of course I had to start the vlog in a tricky place. <laughs> so heavy. Big cement blocks. You have to do it fast. Go Steve, you have to do it quick, quick, quick. Bye. Woo! Woo! Can you stop polluting the water? <laughs> this is our coral that we're gonna go and plant down at the bottom of the ocean. Right, how many screws are there? Cool, there you go. And a coral. So we're currently rehabilitating the coral reef. How far are you two stabbing it? Just so it doesn't move. For three years now, they've been getting volunteers to come here and put those cement bricks down into the ocean and they're planting coral. We're off to that island. So that was so cool. We saw some that were from three years ago that have grown so much. There's now fish everywhere. We just planted some more and they're trying to like rehabilitate the coral reef and get it back to what it was like at this island. And it is a very beautiful island. Alrighty, it's now free time for the volunteers. So we're gonna go for a bit of a snorkel, a bit of an explore, and I might actually head out to that little island we've docked next to. We're trying to do a thing. <laughs> The drone is in that bag, so uh, good luck, Steve. He wants to go fly it from out there. <laughs> Do you feel okay? I feel back onto the land what a beautiful day that island we that i that island we went out to was so tropical such a paradise out here our ride has arrived <laughs> you're like ready for the tropical life Whoa. Uh, a white shirt yeah objective for this volunteer project is to actually work with the locals. We are at a fishing village here in Thailand and we're trying to help work with the locals and the community to you know better assist them to create a sustainable way of life for them here. Hello! Oh, they're so cute! Oh my gosh a little kittens come up say hello! But that was one of the coolest ways we've ever come to dinner and tonight we have a pad thai! I have one serving of pad thai. That's so gross, that is... 
embarrassing. A local just gave us a mango, by the way. A mango each, so that's gonna be our dessert. Time to go home. <laughs> she looks so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> the homestay we're staying at has a Santa at the front. They know me too well. And a Christmas tree. Ooh. 7am. Oh, you want to go backwards? We've got chat. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been told that our train is currently broken. No ETA, just when it will be fixed, it will come. So our eight hour travel day, I don't know how long this day is gonna be. We found this random room next to this stall. We have to wait like an hour and a half till our next pickup comes and I think we've just found like a internet cafe. No one is here, so thank you for letting us use your desks. Jess has currently left me because she's been having a bit of an issue. She hasn't food in eight days time and she's probably killed me that I'm telling you guys this right now, but she literally just was like, Eureka, it's happening, I need to go. So like this little internet shop is connected to someone's house and she just asked them if she can use their toilet. Good luck to you, Jess. Bye bye, Banser for the Noon Boy. Tell us a bye bye. Honestly guys, there is zero tourism here. This is just a random town. I don't even know if tourism will come here. That's literally the main town just there. I actually found it more beautiful than Hua Hin, to be honest. That's our recommendation, but I don't even know if you can stay in hotels here. We did homestays. Um, maybe we can look into it for you guys if you're interested, but definitely worth it. Better than Hua Hin. See all these birds here and they almost look like mosquitoes because we're so far away. There must be a lot of bugs over there. Also, to give you an update, it is 11 o'clock. We started traveling at 8 o'clock and our train still isn't here. We are literally here at Banks of Hanoi for a day and a bit. However, we are heading up to Singburi and we're in Singburi. We're going to be there for a week so we can actually show you the area around there and what we're up to. We just had to come to Hua Hin and Banks of Hanoi super quickly to do some work. But we pretty much have to do an eight or nine hour travel day to get up to Singburi, which starts with the train then a minivan, then a bus, then a pickup. It's gonna be a crazy day of traveling today. Our trains arrived. All right guys, we just made it onto the train. We have to go on this for about an hour. Because it was so delayed, we have to find another way to get us to St. Glory. Hour on this train, and then we get picked up by a minivan, which is gonna drive us to St. Glory, I think. We'll see if the plans change. In the meantime, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the view while I can. Guys, I'd like to tell you where we are, but I have no clue. Alrighty, transport number two. been traveling now but I think seven. it's 20 to 7 all right so we've been we got up at 7 a.m. it's now 7 at night and I think I had one of those moments where your life flashes before your eyes and I now like I'm grateful for my life because the driver is so insane he was going 150 on on his phone oh, he was messaging me. on his phone and I literally and we still have two more hours, I think, till we get there. And we've just like come to have a stretch shop, literally. My heart is racing, feel my heart. I can't believe he was going 150. On his phone, I was like, oh my God. And no, we don't even have seatbelts in the back of I know, we don't have any seatbelts and our doors don't open. Like they have to get out to open them. That's what I'm like thinking. If we crash and I'm stuck in here, I'm freaking out. I guess if any of you guys have traveled to Asia before, you might know what I'm talking about because this is the first time this has happened. Literally, life flashed before my eyes. I am now grateful. I want to kiss the floor. Alrighty, guys, two more hours inside this little compartment. Wish us luck. Ugh. I feel like I got a little bit sunburned. After 12 
hours of traveling we finally made it to Singburi and I'm very excited because we're actually gonna be spending a week here so we actually have time to explore we're volunteering at another school which I'm so excited about I'm just glad that that long travel day is over but by the way I was starting to like think of unpacking and I was like is there enough like storage space I wasn't sure you know is there enough but I don't know like am I gonna be able to store all my things and <laughs> It's like unnecessarily like so many drawers. <laughs> I really feel like delusional right now because we traveled so much. You look a bit sunburnt too. I, know. I think we need to like start putting more sunscreen on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry guys, today was just one of those days when it's really hard to try and make an interesting vlog. Today wasn't a bad day, it was a mediocre day and thank you for bearing with us. It's just one of those days that we just had to de deal you with. never apologize. Because YouTube is a place where people can upload whatever they like and that is what we are uploading today. A snippet into our crazy day of scary travelling, travelling for too long and 12 hours Don't guys. apologise. People will agree. Don't apologise, Steve. 12 hours That's what guy. happened today I'm and out I'm of showing them. what happened today. I don't know where the lights are for this one. We've now jumped into bed. I'm exhausted. In this lighting, I look even more sunburnt. Oh, do you? <laughs> yes. I need to remember to start wearing sunscreen more. I put it on, it just comes off throughout the day. I need to like carry it around with me. Anyway, I'll end the vlog. Waiting for Steven to come to bed. We will see you guys in a few days. We have really good Wi-Fi here, so we should be able to get vlogs up more frequently, which is good. But yes, got a week to explore Singbury, do a bit more volunteering, a bit more filming. And Good night, this Steve. That feels so good. Good night. Good night, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.